guys so we've had a super busy week as you know we started dummy vapes we have another company in the making another two companies in the making so I've been swamped didn't really know what to put out for, for you guys this week on the vlog so I went through the comments and I saw hella people like yo Neil we got to do a garage tour and a real estate or a house tour I, I say real estate because I got multiple residences and multiple work spots but I'm gonna start today we're gonna see how much footage we got we're gonna show you guys both of my cribs. I'm not gonna tell you all where in Miami it is, but both of my cribs in Miami, I'd say combined they're like five million dollars. And it's pretty lit because we bought them two years ago. Two years ago and a year and a half ago, the two houses. We probably spent like three million total. Sorry, like 2.8 million total on both houses. And today they're worth like five million. So it's like one of the only other things I've invested in besides watches jewelry and cars it's real estate and i've done fucking phenomenal with it but yeah this is not for resale purposes guys this is just my residences hope you guys enjoy all right guys so we just got out of that miami traffic crazy traffic we pulled up to the crib not gonna show you guys any cars not gonna spoil that you got to subscribe and stay tuned for a car collection I think we're at like 12 or 13 cars right now so that'll be a cool video but yeah this is my garage I got a couple flags up we got the Ferrari flag the Audi flag Lambo AMG we just did the poxy on the floor yeah, let's get it welcome to my crib so as soon as you walk in well we walked in through the garage so as soon as you walk in through the garage you have the kitchen here a beautiful big kitchen my girlfriend loves it she cooks me fire food here and we got chef Yoswell. he just cooked us a meal just ate he's, he's in our other crib next door which you guys are gonna see right after this uh, so yeah I'll explain y'all real quick my family used to come visit all the time they would steal my bedroom or I would give it to them when they would come visit my parents and it got kind of annoying and we're doing good and real estate's a good investment like I said before so we bought the house next door too so you guys are gonna see that after uh, yeah we got all, all the liquor, the, it's a wine cellar, but we got more like tequila, black label, scotch, honey. You know, we got it all. When people come over, we make sure they're lit. Uh, here we got the dummy gorilla. I got this off our Atlanta. This guy is always giving dummy out to everyone that comes to visit the crib. But every time I come out of my bedroom, because my bedroom is right there behind those doors. When I wake up and I get out of my bedroom, this shit scares me every single time. It's like... Yeah, it feels like there's a person there. We got our happy dad pile there. Shout out to Dave Booth and John Shahidi. They keep us stocked. Merch, liquor, everything. They keep us stocked. So this is actually where you, you're supposed to enter the house from. We should have started the video here, but... Oh, dude, we got to show them the key bowl. So, so we have so many cars, guys, that it's hard to pick what car we want to drive in the morning. So I love this bowl because I just come here and I'd be like... You know, I don't, I don't even look and whatever we get. So today we're going to drive a McLaren, you know, like that's how it'd be so hard to decide. But yeah, each, each car is like a whole different experience, a whole different sound, whole different drive. Like I'm not just blowing money. Like these are my trophies. Every time I accomplish a milestone, I buy a new car. And you guys are going to see that. Make sure you subscribe for that car collection video. Let's move on. We got when, so when you walk in from the main entrance, you have a pool table with our old logo. We gotta update this. We literally never use it. It's more for my housekeeper, Joe's Mary. We got a poker table for when the boys wanna run poker games, make some quick money, you know. Massage chair, essential. We got one at the office too. Big ass couch, yo. This is the most comfy couch in the world. No cap. Everyone that sits on this couch falls asleep. You cannot finish a movie on this couch. And let me show y'all. We got two bedrooms here. That's my dog, Richie. I have two dogs. I got one in my apartment in Brickell, which I don't know if we're gonna be showing you on this vlog. And Richie, my dog, Richie. So here are my brother's bedrooms. I hope they're clean. I hope they didn't have any pictures over last night or anything. Okay, Omar, Omar is on point. He's, he's working hard this week. Omar's bathroom. Oh, yo, we just got him the fucking automatic toilet that cleans your asshole. <laughs> People love this toilet, it's heated. So, yeah, it's dangerous. You could spend a lot of time on it. All right, we got Ritz bedroom right here. Damn, Ritz. Ritz probably had a bitch over last night. <laughs> this closet looks pretty dope, too. You guys got a sneak peek. I don't know if I think it's going to show y'all this old closet ever. Damn, I've never seen these in my life. The fuck? Pretty dope. 
All right, guys, I don't know why when I see house tours, they always open the fucking fridge. I don't even know what's in here because I'm not living here right now. Look, we keep it healthy. We got protein shakes. We got Happy Dad. Fuck that other brand. Fuck that other brand. Water. That's it. That's all we're doing. You guys can't see this. But this is my home office. I don't really work from here because the AC gets so fucking cold in here when you close the door. As y'all say, as y'all see, we stay armed. If y'all want to pull up, like, just know I'm ready. But uh, yeah, this this the little home office right now. We don't work here, like I said. So I just keep. Oh yeah, these are my this is my inexpensive watch collection. When I want to go to Mexico or Europe or somewhere where I know can't be rocking these Ferraris on the wrist, then we take one of these. And I love it because I, I can match every single fucking outfit with these watches. This shit's pretty dope. I gotta put it up, bro. Alex G bought me this for my birthday, bro. Pop up Alex G right here. Shout out to my guy. But yeah, this he got me a goat head. He's like, Neil, you're the goat. I have to get you a goat. Oh, very important. When I hit the billion dollars, we're gonna pop this clip up. I'm nowhere fucking close, but future billionaire guys, trust me. Richie, go. Oh, you could come with us, come, come, come. Richie, come. All right, Richie's confused. I'm confused, poor Richie. He's out here. We got a uh, not so beautiful ping pong set up anymore. It's my third ping pong table. Every time I get one, guys, the rain fucks it up. This one's an outdoor ping pong table. It doesn't work. Uh, so we got a jacuzzi right here. You jump from direct from the jacuzzi straight to the cold plunge. This cold plunge is at 45 degrees. Look, show them the jacuzzi. That is at 104 degrees. So it's fucking amazing for fitness. Love that shit. So when we walk into my room, you have this beautiful backdrop. My mom helped me decor this. She fucking killed it. I love it when you walk in, everyone falls in love. We got here some of my shoes. Some more of my shoes. Let's show them quickly the closet, bro, but we're not gonna, we could do a whole closet tour. That's a, that's a whole video in itself, in my opinion. But yeah, just quick, bam, 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 bam. Fucking love this closet. Makes me fall in love with this house. Every time I come in this closet, I could be here. No cap, like. 10 minutes just trying to pick out an outfit because I'm just looking at how everything is so beautifully displayed. Love this bed, California King bed. My bed fucking goes up and down and massages. It's pretty dope, bro. As I said, don't fuck with us. More shoes in the bathroom. More shoes in the bathroom. And I love this bathroom. So we got a massage bathtub. Oh, thank you, Costa. We got a massage bathtub. Huge ass sink. This is this makes me regret living in Brickle during the week, but yeah, huge ass sink area. I got a fucking sauna in my bathroom. The most amazing thing in the world, guys. Uh, whenever you feel like you just need to get refreshed, jump in the sauna, jump in the cold plunge in the jacuzzi, boom, you feel brand new. Oh yeah, I got I could fit like 12 people in the shower. <laughs> There's a shower head on the ceiling. One there, one there, and then if you get lazy, you can sit, or if you're, you're doing some activities in the shower, you, you have something that's gonna support you. But when you walk into my toilet, boom, it opens for you. So I just have to sit down, you know, and the shit's heated. Like I said, I spent too much time on here. Shouldn't spend so much time on here. My dad said I could get piles if I sit on there for too long. I don't know what the fuck that is. That's the bathroom, guys. The bathroom sold me on this house. I'm gonna keep it real with you. Tell me what you guys think of the house. And let's go show them the house we bought next door so that our parents stopped crashing our house. But don't show them outside the houses at all because I do not want them to see any of our fucking cars because they gotta wait for that video. So let's go. Zoom into my shirt, bro. Just so they could see how far we walk. Show them the floor. Look. So you walk on the dirt, you walk up to the steps, and boom. You're at my parents' crib next door that we got for them. It's their vacation home. It's fucking amazing. So when you walk in, you're greeted by Chef Yoswell. Chef Yoswell is the man. Best food in Miami, best food in the 305. The amazing vibes. He's the man with the plan. You heard it. Oh yeah, we're not showing them any of the cars. Did, did we see? All right, cool. We got a garage there. Got a two-car garage there. Yeah, but, uh, how can I miss it? You got an elevator as soon as you walk in, guys. I never use it. I'm scared to use it. It's a fucking vacuum elevator, so air sucks you up. Bathroom. The middle dining. Actually, it's a beautiful dining room. The shit's on mine. I'm not gonna lie. 
We got another living room. I mean, this is the living room number one. Dining room number two. Living room number two. Beautiful kitchen, Yoswell's kitchen. So this house is a completely different layout, even though it's directly next door. Uh, this house has three floors, whereas my house is all on one floor. You see here, the pool is way smaller. Being that it's the guest house, we don't really care how big the pool is. Nice outdoor area, done. Yo, someone did all this turf for us for free. Can't remember his name, I shouted him out on IG before. If I remember, we're gonna tag him here. So in here guys, we have a prayer room. I'm quite religious, I pray every day. When I'm in Dara, I always come here every morning, start my day praying. I'm Hindu. My mom helped a lot. My mom did everything in this house to keep it real with y'all. So she did better than I did. She gets me on the interior design. <laughs> Tell me what you guys think. Which house do y'all like better? So yeah, I wanna hear which house you guys like better, who's a better interior decorator. And we're gonna show you we're gonna show you soon. We gotta show you all the apartment and the car collection. We gotta do that soon. All right, so we just made it upstairs. We're gonna have a bar here. We, we've been delaying this. We've been putting it off. We've been super busy setting up businesses, but gotta set that up. We're putting a bar here. That's a fully functional jacuzzi. We're gonna have turf. We're just gonna make it beautiful. It's gonna be really nice. Oh, that was the plan. We're gonna do a home gym up here too. So this bar is gonna be like, yeah, there will be alcohol for when you want to come chill, have a drink, use the jacuzzi, but there's going to be protein shakes. We're going to have a gym set up here and try to like cover it as much as possible. It's going to be dope. So yeah, guys, that was both of the houses. Like I said, we got more real estate. We got an office. We got a car dealership. We have an apartment, but we'll leave all that for another video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that subscribe button, hit the notifications button so you guys can see when I drop my car collection video. Trust me guys, y'all don't want to miss out. My cars are worth almost as much as these two houses combined. And yeah, it's surreal guys. I love y'all and I'll see y'all in the next episode.